Hey, what's going on? This is JC. Uh, just here uh, to teach you a little fix um, that I ran into when installing a virtual machine using uh, Oracle's virtual box. Um, this is not a tutorial on how to install the v VMware, but it is um, a tutorial on how to fix this particular error message that you're going to see here on your screen. I'm going to get it up for you so you can take a look at it. And it's this one right there. It's literally called Windows Setup. Uh, we cannot read the product key setting from the unattended answer file. And I read up on it. Uh, I'm going to save you a lot of time. Um, this is how you fix it. So you will need to get rid of your floppy configuration on your virtual box. So considering that um, you are you have already done the installation, and by the way, this error message appears as soon as you install and configure your virtual machine and you're ready to um, install the ISO file. So um, you've already done all the configuration and now you're ready to start it. And typically when you hit start, um, that error message pops up. So it doesn't even install Windows 10 on it using the ISO file. So this is the error message that we get. But um, in this case, um, it's gonna work. Um, and this is how you fix it. So. Uh, once you see the error message, go ahead and turn off your your computer, um, and this is how you shut it off. So, um, so the first thing you 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 will, before you see the message, you you're gonna see the virtual box here. This is my virtual machine, and um, you're gonna see the error message here. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go to File, and um, you'll see the Windows um, login, and then it'll say Set up files. And then you, you'll see the error message. But um, when you do that, what you do, you hit close, and then, and then you power off the machine. I'm going to click X right now because I'm just demonstrating. So once you power off your machine, your virtual machine, you go back to, um, you go back to your settings um, here on, for your, you know, whatever you named your virtual machine. Um, and then you go to settings. Um, then you're going to get rid of the floppy configuration. And as you can see, um, it's going to already install Windows 10 on, on that one. But uh, for this one here, uh, you're just going to go to storage. And you're going to, um, if you have a floppy disk in there configured, you only to get rid of it. And this is, I took a screenshot because since I've already fixed my issue, um, this is how it used to look here. This is just a screenshot. So I used to have the... Where's my cursor here? I used to have um, the under settings, obviously, right? Um, I used to have the under the, the storage devices under storage. You go to the storage devices, there was a controller floppy. So what you do, you right click on under the controller and then you click remove controller. And then you click save. Once you hit save, then you're ready to um, start your machine. So you just get, um, if it's not running, it should have start. And then this is what, this is what you see to have your ISO install your um, Windows. So yeah, hope this helped. And uh, hopefully you're not, um, you haven't gone days trying to figure it out or looking online. Um, but hopefully this will help you out.